Wow, look at the snow in the mountains. Awesome. <laughs> Yes, I have that actually. Today, I'm going to put the new mattress topper on and the new lavender sheets, which are right there in the mattress topper. So we'll see if it makes any difference. That's the wall hanging I made out of a piece of cloth and batting inside. And then I painted it. It's going to go up here. Like, like that. The contractor guy came because I was getting no hot water. I turned the handle to the left, no hot water. Well, tell you what happened. The bathroom is on the other side of that wall. And imagine you're facing this direction at the sink. On your left is the hot, and on your right is the cold. So that would be the hot and the cold. So the 
spigots underneath the sink were out of the wall were cold and hot. He just had the guy came and he switched the tubes from this to that. So here I can get hot water now and it's, it's everything's cool. Now the refrigerator opens this way presently. And up here you can switch it so that it'll open the other way. And we also brought by some hardware. Whether I can figure out how to do it or he said he could come back sometime to do it, then everything will be working the way it's supposed to. Hi. It's dumpy on me. As they have a lemon tree right at the edge of their yard, there were three lemons on the ground and a few more other little guys. They could be limes, they could be lemons. They are all the same color until they decide to mature. So Ashley gave me two of the big lemons. I'm going to have lemon pasta tonight. Ooh, that ought to be good. And probably save some zest. You know, zest them, the, the peel, and put it in a jar so next time I'm making something I can throw some zest in. But all but, this dish I'm making tonight calls for zest, so I can always collect zest. There's plenty of lemons around here, that's for sure. I don't mean mistakes, I mean real fruit lemons. Yeah. Throw on the, the little dog. They are on they go on either side of the door and they just sit there sometimes. <laughs> I don't think either one's afraid of each other. They're both boys. And the two big dogs are girls, so maybe the boys are sticking together, you know what I mean? <sighs> Scott texted me that he had to sell the Jeep that he had to make some payments on stuff, but then recently someone was moving out of the area and sold them a more economical car. So he sold the Jeep and he's paying off the car because the father-in-law actually bought it and he's paying the father-in-law so now they're pretty much in the clear and they're starting to pay down their debts. Brian's paying down his debts. I'm so proud of them. I can't tell you how proud I am of them. Tomorrow is Whoop Whoop Wednesday and I will have a joke for you. Also tomorrow they're both working and I might venture out a little bit. I have not heard from the U-Haul people yet. The box will either be in tonight or tomorrow, and then Thursday we'll go pick it, stuff up. Whew. The end of the year is fast approaching. It'll be a year that I think most people will be glad to kick in the butt out the door. <laughs> yeah. Upward and onward. <laughs>